Oh shit. Let's get that off there. Hmm. Hang on. Go outside and work on your car. I worked on my car today. What'd you do? Didn't work on your car? Because you're sitting there watching YouTube? Go work on your car. Or truck. Or bike. Or whatever it is that you want to work on. Your excavator. I don't know. Go outside and work on it. Your water heater, maybe. Maybe you like water heaters. You like customizing them and stuff, putting like different, like copper pipes in them and stuff. I don't know, but you do. So, why don't you do it? So, truck is a mess. Don't judge me. But, RSX Type S shifter, RSX Type S shift selector, RSX Type S, Type S, yep, Type S um, shifter cables. And then this is the Z1 transmission that came out of the same, but we're going to be rebuilding it for a buddy of mine, Kyle Putman. Um, I originally bought this transmission from him because I was going to use it. Then when I bought the Del Sol and all the other stuff, um, I actually got a K20Z3 transmission with it. So I no longer needed this, but I was going to rebuild it and do a rebuild episode on it. Um, he thinks that the diff's bad, and then he decided when I went to pick it up today and the shifter and the cables and selector he was like thinking about well why don't you just rebuild it and I'll buy it back from you I said okay so that's what we're gonna do and today we're gonna hang this guy up in the good old shop my Harbor Freight shop And I think we're going to go across this beam right here. That way it's pretty much perfectly uh, positioned over the engine bay. Look how clean this interior is, man. It's so clean. Ethan cleaned it up for me. I didn't do anything to the Del Sol. I originally recorded... Darren and I going in and uh, taking the Del Sol to Ethan and then picking up this Integra. And I ended up uh, editing the video and putting it on YouTube. And for those that watched it and then got about 7 to 10 minutes in and then it froze and all you could hear is audio and nothing else happening. Uh, that was kind of a bummer for me because I didn't expect to flub up a video so quick. So, oh, as you can see, literally they dropped the C1 out of here, and that was it. So, I've got a couple of spots that I've got to fix where the tires rubbed right there. So, I've got to go ahead and get some of this unhooked. It's so, so dingy. I've got to get some of this unhooked and out of the way, removed these, this power steering line right here won't be used anymore uh, these AC lines won't be used anymore so I'll take those off and if someone needs them then I will sell them uh, same thing with the smog pump I won't be using it I won't be using that fuel filter anymore I'm gonna go ahead and hang up the light uh, by the end of this video I'm sure it's gonna be dark outside so hang up the light get the supplies clean the engine bay and then we'll go from there you can probably see how ridiculously bright this thing is and how much you can see now. So now I have to figure out how to mount this camera to where you can see it and then I guess I'll do like time lapse. Yep.
Yep. Yes, I'm about to do all of this by hand. So, as you can see, this thing still needs a lot of work. And no, by no means is it staying like this. I didn't film me cleaning the engine bay to show like, oh, it's I'm just cleaning it and it's going to stay like this. No. I just want to see how bad in shape it is, how dirty. You're not going to paint over dirt. You have to clean it one way or another. Guess what? I don't have a pressure washer. So, by hand it is. The subframe has to come out. It has to be cleaned. It has to be repainted. Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to put another rack in it before I put it in or just bite the bullet see if this one's any good. For the longest time, I didn't think that I was going to be able to put a car together simply because I didn't have a garage. I didn't have a concrete pad and all that shit. But... Go and get some wood, lay it down with some chipboard, stack it up if you have to. Go and get one of these tents for like 200 bucks from Harbor Freight. And this light right here was $16 from Walmart. I mean, so I think in the next video, what I'm going to do um, is start tearing into Kyle's transmission. And we're going to see what's wrong with it. And then soon, I'm going to do a review on the second gen Tahoe because... I bought one of those January last year, and I absolutely love it. I love that thing. Um, it sucks spending almost $70 to fill it up every time I hit the pump, but I love it, man. I've got to get the pump still and the VTC for the K24A, but of course I can't do that yet. I'm trying to work on the Integra and get stuff done that I can, uh, basically for free. I mean, and just waiting on the money to come in, really, you know. You, you need to do this. You need to go outside. You need to get started on whatever car you've got sitting out there because eventually you're going to get to a point where you're just not going to do it. And it's going to get to a point where you can't do it because the car is in such bad shape from it sitting so long. Go outside. Get one of these damn tents. Put some wood down. Jack your car up. Put it on jack stands. Do the shit. Do it. Because it's taken me so it's taken so much willpower for me to get started and just do it go outside and work on your car I worked on my car today what'd you do didn't work on your car cause you're sitting there watching YouTube go work on your car or truck or bike or whatever it is that you want to work on your excavator I don't know go outside and work on it. your water heater maybe maybe you like water heaters you like customizing them and stuff, putting like different like copper pipes in them and stuff. I don't know, but you do. So, why don't you do it? I'm going inside. Thank you for watching. Uh, I know I'm an awkward bastard, but you know we'll get better at it. 
So, uh, tune in next week. I'm never going to say that again. That's so lame. <laughs>